Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and welcome back to another part of Final Fantasy Grandmasters. So, uh, in between the parts, I did do something. I went into the level 100 behemoth thing as a joke, and I got carried really hard by these two awesome guys. Uh, they were both, I think, around the 15,000 rating. And me and somebody else who had like 8,000 rating were in there, but these guys were on top of it. They had sub jobs, they had massively powerful weapon skills, they had debuffs. These guys were loaded. Just wanted to shout that out. That's why I have 700 uh, crystals at the top when I had 200 before. I also went ahead and upgraded some items. My character strength is sitting at about 6,500 right now. So it went up about 700 from the end of the last part. Oh, excuse me. I felt like I had to hiccup for a second there. So um, I'm going to continue on over into this place. Now, I am hoping with that 700 power increase, mainly the fact that I have two, uh, three S rank weapons on now. Granted, two of them are the same, which kind of sucks, because there's ability overlap there. I'm hoping that means that this is going to be a little more doable. If not, we may go on, like, a leveling spree. I know exactly where to go at level 18, or at least I, I would like to believe I know where to go. These things are only level 37, but crawlers are a pain in the ass. So, obviously, the biggest problem here is that now I have two chakras instead of boost, uh, which sucks because they're both bad rank 1 chakras. The good news is... As long as these guys don't use Cocoon, I can kill them pretty quick. It takes a lot of TP, but I can do it. And then I'm just going to land three autos here. And, yeah, even with the Cocoon, I should be able to kill them with this next auto. Yep. So now I can get... If that happens every time, that means I can get 30 TP back plus the tick. So I'll probably get, like... I'll probably be able to kill two or three of these guys in a row. Thank God I don't need to kill, like, one at a time. The thing is, my character is not built to to fight enemies one at a time. I have nothing that benefits from me fighting a single character at a time. Hey, Kazu! That's the name of my, um... That's the name of my black mage and my static in 14. I gotta check my Skype, by the way. I haven't uh, checked my Skype. Hopefully there hasn't been too much conversation going on while I'm not around. Okay, just, uh... Doing that right now. Hmm, okay. Just reading some stuff. Sorry guys, just wanted to read through something. Let me just uh, give one like permanent thought into a quick Skype message. I know it's very unprofessional to be doing this mid-recording. Thankfully, this is Final Fantasy XI at its best, multitasking. <laughs> so I'd say that this game pretty accurately captured the way that <laughs> the way that uh, Final Fantasy XI was meant to be played. Wouldn't you? He's got the physical defense over on the right side now, but I have enough for uh, a third one. I may go and I may uh, go auto attack some of those uh, other guys again, because I don't want to sit here waiting for my TP, but I... I might be able to just start attacking the next group um, and still actually be okay. It would be nice if that guy who's just AFK next to me decided to help, but he's AFK, so he can't just help. You know, he has to be there. Let's see. While I wait for my TP to come back. It's just so funny that the only reason I even checked my Skype is because Kazu right there. I mean, I have some messages here, but my phone hasn't been going off to let me know that I have him. wanted to take care of that. Oh, does this guy want in? Does he? I'm going to start attacking these. I'm going to hope. Yep. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I guess it's good that I actually decided to stop and do this guy. That's not Kazu, though. No, that's the other guy. What does he have? Really? They resist fire? That's really strange to me. <laughs> Everyone's going immediately to the, to the Pokemon brand of 
<laughs> how does this work? <laughs> I mean, I understand why they're resisting it. Like, I can see their element on the screen, but like to me, it just it's weird seeing a crawler being resistant to fire. As somebody who's played Pokemon, as somebody who's played Final Fantasy XI, it's strange to me. Well, actually, no, yeah, these aren't the fire-breathing ones, because there are um, Arukas, which are a type of crawler in Final Fantasy XI, or in Vanadil. I should actually just be saying Vanadil, not just Final Fantasy XI, because Grandmasters is not Final Fantasy XI. It's an adventure, an alternate adventure that takes place in Vanadil. I feel bad for that guy, though, because I can't help him. I kind of want I Maybe I should come back in and see if he needs help. All right, well, I have this quest to do first. Looks like we're going to get another two relic draws in this video, too. I want a different S-rank weapon, though. Hmm. I want one that has raging strikes. You know what? That might actually be a balancing trick to try to try and force you to, like, use lower tier items and upgrade them. It might be on purpose, now that I think about it. might be on purpose. Oh, man. Also, some of my energy is sapped because... Oh, let me go see if that guy needs help. As much as I would love to just... Oh, somebody's actually attacking these goblins, though. Ugh. I don't want to miss the opportunity. These things are only level 36. They probably hit really hard, though. Oh, no. I'm gonna... We're gonna demolish these things, guy. Come on. I got, like, 1,600 health also. Oh, yeah. We're good. I'm I basically gonna be... Ugh. It's either I help the other guy or help this guy. Either way, this guy's got AoEs. I got AoEs. Like, we're good. This is a really good leveling spot. I think leveling off these goblins might be viable if I could get a party going. Me and this guy are around the same... I'm literally, I think, exactly one strength higher than him. So, like, my... It feels like my attacks are hitting harder, though. Maybe he's upgraded more of his armor, whereas I've upgraded more of my weapons? I don't know. Actually, we're doing about the same damage. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a quick quest. Oh, I feel bad. I really want to go help that other guy, though. But I don't want to, like, leave this. Because this is really easy to do with two people. I can't wait till Final Fantasy XI comes out on the phone. That's the only thing that's going to get me to go back to Final Fantasy XI. Is being able to play it on a phone. Because as a mobile game, I think it'll fit really well. The only thing I'm worried about is Nexon publishing it. And I think you all know why I'm a little worried about that. But as long as they don't destroy the core of the game, I'm hoping Final Fantasy XI, the actual Final Fantasy XI on the phone, will be a decent title. Oh, and if it comes out in Japan before it comes out in America, you can... I'm pretty sure they said that Final Fantasy XI on the phone is going to be worldwide, unlike this, which is currently only slated for Japan. Uh, just because they already have... The thing is, there's no reason not to do a worldwide release of the mobile version of Final Fantasy XI. They already have everything they need in order... Like, it's all, it's all localized already. There's no voicing to do. It's all text. All the music's already done. Like, all of their resources are already localized. So they might... So th that's... Ah. Oh, see? He thanked me. I'll thank him back. It's always nice to be appreciated. C rank, B rank. So, like, I'm glad they're doing a worldwide release for that one. Hopefully that guy zones right back in to do this quest. There's gotta be a sub-job quest somewhere. Maybe it's after you finish the main story you can unlock your sub job. Because that's that's the only thing left in my menus. You can see I still have the thing on the far left locked. I'm assuming it's through the main story. Like, that makes the most sense. I'm calling it the main story. <laughs> there is actually a story, though. Like, there is an actual story with adventures and stuff. Only level 34. It's weird that these enemies are weaker. Well, maybe not weaker. But... Oh, that's the same guy that I was just playing with, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Auto. Boom. There's... I wonder if there's a way to really do, like, friends and stuff. There has to be, like, some sort of social feature here. If not, they're working on it. He's not, like, loading on my screen. Hopefully he goes for this one. Yep. Yo, me and this guy are blowing through Valkyrie Goons together. Oh, wait, no, 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 sorry. We finished talking this. This is uh, Boobarimbo. Sorry, I saw a beach and I saw I saw ghosts. I immediately thought of... Yeah. Those of you who have played, you understand. There he is. I don't even need to do two AoEs. I could realistically just do one and then auto attack. He could do the same thing. He's gonna AoE, yep. Now we just auto our way back out and we're good to go. I 
I wonder what Notorious Monster I'm going to have to beat. There's quite a few Notorious Monsters from Boomerimo. And I wonder if I go to the Maze of Shakurami after this, or if it's going to start sending me towards Windurst. I think it is, it's going to start sending me towards Windurst next. The whole, whole reason they sent me over here was probably, story-wise, to go on an Envoy to Windurst. I'll probably go to, uh, to Gustaberg at last. Looking at the level of the enemies in Gustaberg, though, I can't be that far away from it. Hey, see? It's the same guy. He thanks me for every single one. And I want to thank him back. Oh, so it's a bird. Oh, that makes it really easy because the birds were some were, you know, the first enemies I encountered here. Told my I told my girlfriend I'm doing a full a full playthrough of Grandmasters. And she's play she is the one who introduced me to Record Keeper, by the way. My girlfriend is the one who introduced me to like mobile Final Fantasy games. So when I say that to her, that's gotta be like what? <laughs> like confusing? Because she understands that this game is a lot like Record Keeper in certain aspects. I'm wondering, <laughs> I should have asked her, like, what she actually thinks, because she was just like, okay. If I, if somebody else told me that they were doing a full playthrough video of Grandmaster, would be like, what does that even mean? But it would be nice to actually get through the entire game. Make some guides about the notorious monsters in certain areas and the drops you can get and, you know, leveling up secondary jobs. You know, I mean, I do guides. Like, that's what I really... Above everything on YouTube, I like doing guides. Like, yes, videos like this are fun, but I try to make them in some way educational so that people, you know... the Most of the time, the reason I'll watch a playthrough is to learn something about a game, not just to watch a playthrough. So, when I make these videos, that is sort of how I... I detail them you know I think you know I want to make sure I include X amount of details about this and that because I want to make sure that somebody walks away with this going oh okay that makes sense I have a question about this though you know I want them to both gain something and both want to gain more so that explains why this is a good leveling spot this notorious any place with a notorious monster is considered a good leveling spot because most of the time people just farm it even whether most of the time it's for gill because when you kill a notorious monster, most of them, even if you don't get any good loot, give you a decent amount of gill. These aren't even notorious monsters. I'm getting 1,600 gill per kill. So, you know, let that be a judge of how much people value that. Nothing like going into a fight also and getting an instant 150 EXP. Like, this is speed leveling right here at its finest. Found the notorious monster. The only issue is that if you're on the quest for the notorious monster, when you find him, you then have to leave and come back. It's the only real downside. Uh, am I going to get enough for... Yes, I am. This was one of the easiest Notorious Monsters. Holy moly. Granted, there were four of us and we destroyed him, but like, come on. Ooh. Oh, I, I said new and I got overly excited. Like, it said new before anything even happened. Five more max TP. Max TP plays a pretty big deal in how quickly you can farm an area. Like, if I have enough TP to go through an entire quest just doing tornado kicks, it's a huge difference. That can't be the end of, of, uh, of Booberibu, can it? It is. Now we're going to Tarangni Canyon. Well, no, this is just a... I'm still in Booberibu right there. That's not... That's just a different side of Booberibu. Yeah, maybe this will take me over to... The, wait, I didn't see if it was a dungeon. This might be Maze of Chakrami. Um, no, it actually looks like, it really looked like Tarangi Canyon right there. Well, basically, you can tell, um, if it's a field area or not. So, see, like, that's a field area, that's a field area. Oh, that is, that is the Craig, isn't it? No, that's not, that's not accurate. That's where, no, 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 that's something else. Okay, yeah, I'm still in, uh, I'm still in Buberimu, yeah. It's not like the other map where it combined Lathine and Valkyrm. This is only a Buberima map. Oh, I want to go to Anzozo's Labyrinth. That's where I want to go. Hmm. Really strange choice of, uh, of layout for this part. You know what, though? Look, there's the crag. Here's the thing. Geographically on the map, I am not in Tarangi Canyon. The zone I am in, however, is absolutely Tarangi Canyon. I know it's weird, and I know those of you who didn't play 11 are going to be like, what does it fucking matter? But it matters to me, alright? It matters that they be geographically correct, even though I am terrible at geography. True story. 
Job level up. We level 19. Oh, level 20. I don't know what I get at level 20. I don't know why I got so excited if I don't even know what I get. I gotta wonder, like, there's gotta be other people that are, like, in this level range. I always, I go through these stints where it seems like nobody else is playing the game, and then everyone's playing the game. Like, I zone in, and there's, like, 40 people there. It seems to happen quite a lot. I need 14 of these enemies. That is an extremely odd number. Should have just made it 15, because I have to kill, I have to do five packs anyway. Alright. Oh, great. Well, I mean, that's more TP, I guess. I get one more tick on top of that. Yep, that's that's two tornado kicks. That's pretty much what I went into that battle with. It'd be really nice if somebody else would walk up here and start killing them with me, though. Come on, give me a crit. Give me a crit, baby. Give me a crit. It's not... Nope. Oh, there's somebody else. Hello, Mithra. I said Mikote in the previous part. I just realized, I ran into a Mithra a while ago and I called them a Mikote. I just realized that. I'm, oh, oh man, I can't wait till that video launches. That's gonna be fun. There we go. Well, at least somebody else is in the area. So, okay, only piece of feedback, Japanese development team. When you finish a quest, pull up a prompt that asks, do you wish to continue? Because you have, here's the thing, every, every quest has a time limit of an hour. If you have a time limit of an hour, I would like it to ask you if you would like to stay in the area. I would also like a zone to go to that is just free roaming with no quest, just to kill enemies. I know it seems like a weird request, but it's a request that somewhat matters to me. Because I like being able to go out and just farm experience without having this quest that if I, you know, when I'm done, I have to go do that quest. I could just abandon the area, but that's not a very satisfying play style to, you know, have to leave an area and get this giant quest failed text when all you were trying to do was level up. You know what I mean? I would much prefer some other methods be employed. Alright, that quest is done. I would love to stay and help you, man. Oh, there's somebody else in the area, too. Come on, start giving me B-rank items, man. Enemies are starting to drop them. I need to actually get them from the quest, though. I got three relic draws so far prepared for this part. I've already gotten 800 crystals just from this part alone. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna be funny. If I, so if it's anything like Record Keeper, the game is gonna end abruptly at some point, where it's just gonna be like, hey, it's over. Thank you for playing. There will be more parts later on. If it's anything like Record Keeper, that's gonna happen. I didn't want to fight this thing. Come on, I can run away from it if I really want to. It doesn't. Eh. I could just kill it also. Oh, I got another guy here. We're fine. Uh, but... Hmm. But yeah, so that's what Record Keeper does. Is, you know, you're going through the store. You, you know, you're going through all these different worlds. And then it says, hey, thanks for playing. But, you know, no more quests until the next update. I have a feeling that's going to happen at some point here. Oh, no wonder. They're doing that Delmel quest. Uh, I don't think this is going to be... Oh, never mind. That's fine. <laughs> As I was gonna say, I don't think that's gonna, this is going to be a good fight for me. I was wrong. Oh, well, I'll let that guy get the attack. It's, it's his turn anyway, so. Perfect. Double item. Ooh, those are materias. See, I wonder if killing elementals is the primary way of getting materia. I have to wonder because it seems to be the case. Where as long as you're fighting element, Because when I was doing... So, one of my side quests is to just kill a bunch of elementals... Um, in... Uh, what area is it? I think it's the... Oh, yeah, that's in Altepa. That's the, the quest in Altepa. And that was the only place I found myself getting that item. What, uh, the actual upgrade items for the materials. I have to wonder if that's a part of it. I also wonder if I can, like, salvage gear or anything like that. Probably not. I'm getting really in-depth for a mobile game at this point. I'm expecting a little bit too much. But that, I'm fully expecting that to be an upgrade material. Let's find out. Yep. I'm almost positive that is the case. It depends on the level of the enemy and if it's an elemental. I'm almost positive farming elementals is going to be the way to go to get my upgrades. Good. That means I'm getting a bunch of wind upgrades right here, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Damn it. Is 
Hey, pallet. And also, there's that one job I don't have unlocked. There's got to be more jobs to unlock also. Man, they got so much room to expand on this game. That's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. Like, they should have a lot of room to expand on this game. Because it means that they've already done a good job. They've hooked me. Now they just need to keep updating it. Ooh. That ability looks pretty cool. Uh, I forget what the name of the weapon, that greatsword weapon skill is. I am going to hit level 20 today. I'm absolutely going to hit level 20. Maybe not in this video. Maybe it's going to be like three or four videos from now, but I'm absolutely going to hit 20. Alright, we're getting towards the point where I got... Oh, this is the Dalmel quest. Um, We're getting towards the point where I got to kind of decide how I want to do this. Oh, I want a piece of S plus gear, dude. I don't know where I'm going to get that kind of materia, though. I there's, mm, I think I just have to make it farther into the game. I think that's all it is. Oops. Not oops, but like, I kind of wanted to run over more because there were more people over there. Oh, we got this guy. We're good. What does this guy do? He got 7,300. He's going to wreck this thing. Remember when I said he was going to wreck that thing? Yeah, I didn't expect it to be that hard. He, oh my god, I have to kill 14 of them like this? Why is it always the last quest? Oh, I actually got credit for that? Okay. Why is it always the last quest? There's this, like, ridiculous limit on it that I need to kill 14 of them. There's only one. It's just because of the dull melts. These dull melts are so shitty. Oh my Jesus. I don't know how I'm getting... At least it's not doing that thing where it boots me out and doesn't give me credit. That was annoying. Wow, there's a lot of people doing this in the area all of a sudden. Okay, this quest will finish pretty quick. And then we can do three relic draws. I'm I'm partially considering doing relic draws for my alternates. <sighs> the problem is, I want my monk to be really strong, and then I can go back and... Oh, God, there's four people. Ah, there's no way I was going to make it, dude. There's like six people in the area trying to do the stall mel quest. Best I can do is try to kill this one, because... The guy who's one-shotting them is over there, fighting that one. So I'm just going to go into this one. Oh, great. Notorious Monster. Well, I mean, that's not a bad thing. Oh, wait. I've killed this Notorious Monster in Tarangi Canyon. I can't remember his name, though. Oh, and he also comes with two regular Dalmels. So while they don't die instantly, I'll consider that a success. <laughs> I like how I just punch them from this far away. Holy moly. Alright, no loot. That's two Dalmels. That counts. That did count as two Dalmels. That's actually pretty good. Oh, no. Alright, he has four people. Alright, now we just wait for the respawns. There's one. The other one's gonna respawn. I should've gone for the other one. This one's probably gonna have some people in a few... Oh, no. They're... Oh, yeah. They're all here, alright. Jesus Christ. A black mage is just eviscerating them. Not a, that's actually a weapon skill, so that's not a good. Oh, okay. That's a, that's not a good term to use because that is actually the name of a dagger weapon skill. It's just like Jesus Christ. It's like, do we even matter over here? I'm just gonna go ahead and assume no, with how much damage they're doing. I'm probably gonna need that's. I'm just gonna bet that's the notorious monster I need at the end of the Tarangi Canyon quest line. Ugh. Some notorious monsters aren't part of any quests, which is why I have to believe that they have their own drops. Like, Valkyrie Emperor. Leaping Lizzie. God, I can't wait to see what level Leaping Lizzie's gonna be. Also, you know I've been complaining about geographically incorrect? The level range of these areas is geographically incorrect, so I don't know why I didn't pick up on that first. Level 45's in Tarangi Canyon? Please. The only level 45 that should even remotely be here is no goblin archaeologist is at least 50 so that's just well, that's just another example of one of why it's not the right level range we need what three more three more job level up nice i'm 2800 from leveling up Ooh, i'm sorry i got that Ooh, the notorious monster again oh well we're gonna mow through these guys Dude, that guy on the far right is getting annihilated. Oh, no. now the boss is getting annihilated. But that, yeah, is he gonna go for the guy on the right? Nope. 
Did I just miss? It said miss. I don't know if that was me or that was somebody else, but I think it was me. Nice, now I need one more. Job level up. Nice, nice. And this should be the last one I need. Pretty easy quest. I, I, I gotta say, like, this area, even though it's only one at a time, pretty quick leveling. I think I still think that the birds in Boomerimu were way better, though. All right, that quest did not take nearly as long as it could have. Thank goodness. I just wish it would stop giving me C rank items. <laughs> I don't want it to give me S ranks. I'd rather it just give me more crystals, to be honest. All right, might as well quickly complete these quests or this speech quest. This will be the quest where he goes, "Wow, you've killed with stuff. Now go kill more stuff and then kill a notorious monster." Which has pretty much been the formula for all of these. Like, what is this? This is skeletons, and then, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to do my relic draws now, guys. We'll mark the end of the video with our usual relic. Wait. Was that unlocked? No. I gotta figure out how to unlock that. I gotta figure it out, guys. It'll be soon enough. <laughs> okay. Let's pray. B rank. A or S. A rank. And... B rank. Okay, well, I'm going to take a look at the upgrade, see if there's anything I can work with, new weapon skills and whatnot. But anyway, thank you for joining me on another part of Final Fantasy Grandmasters. I will see you in the next one, and I really want to get this weapon that it's advocating right here. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one, and until then, take care.